Coast Guard crews are working on a plan to remove pollutants from a capsized ship. This is still in Glynn County here. Action News Jax told you on Saturday that oil and sheen were found in the marshes near the Golden Ray. That's in St. Simons Island. Action News Jax, Megan Moriarty live in that area. Megan, teams are collecting samples from the water. Yeah, and here are one of those samples right here. Um, it's hazardous for the skin to touch, so that's why it's inside a plastic bag and I'm wearing gloves. The Riverkeeper gave it to us earlier, and he said that him and his crews have been out here working 18 to 20 hour days, and they're seeing a lot of pollution in the water from four different types of fuel. The coverage area that we're seeing uh, of impacts is, is large. It's been more than two weeks since this cargo ship capsized in St. Simons Island, but the effects are continuing to impact the area. We're looking at four different types of fuels, um, and so that's diesel, gasoline, both, both types of bunker fuel. Uh, there's also a lot of hydraulic fluid. Riverkeeper Sam Fletcher says they're looking at a 10 mile radius. Previously, it was thought that there was minimal environmental damage from the capsized ship, but the U.S. Coast Guard says that is changing. We have had pollution and we will continue to see periodic pollution. Commander Norm Witt says right now they aren't seeing any major discharge from fuel tanks, but this is still a serious situation. One of the next steps we'll be working on is actively uh, pumping off the, the fuel tanks to, to, you know, again, to try to reduce the, the, the risk of, of uh, significant pollution. Fletcher believes the pollution is traveling. Um, we're seeing uh, lots of sheening on the water in multiple locations. Um, the sheening that we're seeing um, 10 miles out resembles the sheening that we're seeing at the oiling locations in the marsh. Um, so we think that it's it's probably traveled a good ways. Fletcher says he wants samples from inside the boat to see if it matches what they're finding in the marshes. Fletcher says he was told that the responsible party might not let them have these samples, but they have put in a request to the Coast Guard, and that was put in yesterday. They're going to continue to be out here collecting samples, and they do want to warn the public just to remember, do not touch oil with your bare hands. Reporting at St. Simons Island Pier, Megan Moriarty, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News, Jacks.